think you're so freaking funny. What's the best way through here? I also thought it was going to be an unlocked gate. I think it is kind of on the side. I can mean you just <laughs> open the gate. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, yeah. I didn't like my face there. <laughs> Nice move. <laughs> uh, lots of wasps. I haven't been stung, but everyone else has. Yeah, wasp things, <laughs> wasp things hurt more than I recall, and it's a very steep start to the trail. I think the jolt of adrenaline I got after I got stung is just helping me hike faster. If you got stung by a wasp every morning, I don't think you'd ever need to drink coffee again. This is so refreshing. I love it. a lot of elevation gain and it was pretty steep so um kept getting a lot of cramps <laughs> i think i'm a bit dehydrated so i didn't go super well but um and it just felt so good to get to the top and see the hut because then i knew it was over nico made it across the creek in record time yep because he's scared of a little wasp that's exactly what i did i crossed the creek in about five seconds and then killed two wasps on the other side and took an all-inclusive resort <laughs> at altitude but free Oh, I'm just loving this afternoon sun. I even brought up a beer up here, luxury. There's two beautiful little A-frame cabins up here. This one is the smaller of the two. There is a weather station, must be gathering some data. And down below on the outlet of the glacial lake, there is a defunct derelict dam. Their concrete's falling apart, so I'm not sure what the dam was for. I couldn't find very much information. Was it for hydroelectric generation? Or were they measuring the outlet flow of the lake? I don't know. And the glacier is just, just behind, just out of sight above this rocky ridge from these cabins, but they're perched on this glacial moraine. Really beautiful views around. And uh, this is an awesome place to kick back with a cold one. Is this how glaciologists live? Because this is the life. I could get used to this. One thing I like most about being up here is the complete lack of distractions. No service, no one around, far away from the madness going on in society. Um, come here. Well, my first usage, the lining broke. Right? 
make sure one game's over. I knew it. <laughs> Just threw a two by eight. So this is the all-inclusive accommodation. A roof over your head. I had a good night's sleep in here. This cabin's a little cozy. You've got room for two on benches and a third on the floor if you had to squeeze another person in. And uh, it's rustic, but uh, I like it. What more can you ask for? We started off the morning with Mount Gardner as our objective. We're making our way up the northeast ridge of Mount Gardner, which is just a really awesome ridge. Look at, look at the glaciers down below me. There's the Place Glacier flat in the valley bottom. Really beautiful. And then on the other side, you got a sweet view too. So we just summited Mount Gardner and now we came up the northeast ridge and we're going to head down the southwest. We'll go right up and over the top so that we can hang around the ridge to Mount Oleg across the way. Look at Oleg with its glaciers on it. What a beauty. We're making our way up the east ridge of Oleg and at the beginning it was really fun, nice flat granite, but we just got to a point where it really drops off both sides. It becomes about a fifth class scramble and really loose, chossy boulders and it's just late, late enough in the day I think that it's not the smartest move to continue so I'm really bummed about turning around. I wanted to do two summits in one day. I think it's probably a safer decision if we, if we turn around so it is what it is. reflection
So I brought up ingredients for an instant cheesecake mix for just adding uh, spices, which we brought up turmeric and ginger and coriander and cinnamon and and nutmeg. <laughs> You just mix this together in a bowl, and we're gonna have instant cheesecake up in the mountains. It's gonna be really easy because we have evaporated milk. Add that and mix that together. This is called dirty chai cheesecake. And I hope I don't mess it up. Because if I do, I will never financially recover from this. <laughs> it's a pre made cheesecake. How can you go wrong? And we deserve some high calorie dessert after our dinner because of the amount of climbing and descending we did today. Our poor bodies need some calories replaced. Okay, it smells like a cheesecake. Okay, that's a proper thing. Master chef at work here. I kind of like it. It's really good. It's, it's almost like mousse. It's kind of like an upside down cheesecake because we have to put the crumbs on top. Tastes like pumpkin pie. And it's really airy and fluffy, which I wasn't expecting for it's true. a mixed, yeah. That's a, very a pre mixed I am drowning my sorrows of not being able to make it up Mount Oleg in a cheesecake. That's the, my only consolation prize. A wild windstorm absolutely hammered us that night. The hut walls flexed in the gusts and chased Nico and Elena from their tent. In the morning, we checked out the beauty of the glacier one more time and I had just enough drone battery for another quick flight. The surface streams of meltwater created some of the coolest patterns in the ice I've ever seen. Been here. It left its tracks. <laughs>